know anything about bathtub Ross Kiwi? My brain is as empty as my stomach. Okay, you're Wait, gonna. Did you're... you say bathtub Ross? Yeah, his his name is bathtub Ross Kiwi. Uh, he's he's quite an interesting jump. Have you ever seen the re meme? Uh, no. Like the the re like screeching. Rachel. Like over all I know top. is a guy named Re Kid, but like I don't know that. Okay, okay, okay. Well, you're going to get the the uh, how do I want to put it? the embodiment of the actual re meme. Uh, Bathtub Ross has a re moment. Uh, so we're gonna get into it. But this guy, he's a creep, but he's a funny fucking creep because he's stupid. So I'm gonna play this. He looks like a <laughs> professional mini lad. <laughs> this isn't him. This isn't him. This is this guy doing the video. I, I don't know if we actually, uh, we probably, there is pictures, but they're older, oh. but we get a representation, an art representation of Bathtub Ross. Oh boy. In the annals of the internet, many interesting characters have stolen the spotlight at one time or another. Some stick around long enough to become part of the online cultural lexicon, while others have their 15 minutes of fame and then fade into obscurity. One such figure who seemingly slipped through the cracks of cyberspace is none other than Jonathan Ross. Not the British talk show host, but the American amateur streamer. There you go, that's what he looks like. Oh god, he <laughs> looks like a sibling of Lord Triton's. <laughs> oh. 2017, I'm after so his chance encounter with commentary personality Mr. Medicare, which resulted in this clip. Yeah, but you can say I'm a pedophile all you want, but I'm not a pedophile. But how the f*** is looking that shit up not messed up? Dude, looking up kids in the bathtub isn't f***ing pedophilia. The only reason why it's pedophilia if you jerk off to it. I didn't even jerk off to it at all. You literally said you have feelings for children and that you need help. Just to warn you, we're going to wade through some truly vile degeneracy. This is your average tale of an online personality raging at trolls over and over again. There are some awful things that lay ahead of us. Grandparents after his mother passed away while he was a child. He began his online presence in 2012 when he created several YouTube channels and over the next couple of years he would upload mostly gameplay and rant videos. Ross was also involved in the dark side Phil community. DSP in short is an infamous gaming YouTuber turned lol cow, most well known for his incessant need for money from his audience and lackluster content quality. Ross would jump onto this bandwagon, uploading a couple of dark side Phil parodies and stream clips on his channel. Seriously my parents had the money to buy the toy but they were f***ing stupid, let's put it that way. One key feature of the DSP community are the sons of Kojima. What's it with everyone's hate to dark side Phil here? It wasn't just this guy. Hey, Vinny, how you doing? Uh, dark side Phil is just, okay. Dark side Phil, his biggest hatred comes from the fact that he's he's truly like an e-beggar, an e-grifter. Okay, so like, all he does, his whole entire streams and everything, everything is money driven for him. He He's a gaming streamer. So he will stop playing games if he doesn't receive enough donos, aka support in his words, on streams. Um, he will stop, oh, he, he's done a bunch of different stuff. Like, he won't even play games unless people buy them for him and shit. Like, he has a goal that he has on both his podcasts and his regular shows where, like, he, if the goals are met, like, he'll do stupid stuff for the goals. They're all, they're all PG things. But like he he believes yeah. that uh he believes his audience basically owes him the money to do this. Well, at least he's not the completionist. No, no, he is actually better than the completionist. Yeah. Poor... <laughs> sad news. <laughs> Moving on. Dedicated to tractors. They would often upload live commentaries over his content, which would often get more views than the original uploads. In 2016, Ross wanted to join the Sons of Kojima, but was refused entry, so he uploaded some rant videos complaining about the group. This would lead to a live debate between Ross and Trolls, which got 10,000 views on YouTube. This skirmish brought Ross his first taste of internet attention, and unfortunately, it wasn't positive. A thread about him was created on Kiwi Farms, and users began to dig through Ross's online history, discovering such oddities like a rap song he uploaded to SoundCloud. I have a new dance move called the Ginger Boy. All you have to do is go ahead and basically just go and snap a ginger head from left to right. Ross began to feud even more with these trolls, getting into long arguments on Twitter and Discord. Like all other internet antagonists, their main goal was to get Ross to freak out. But I doubt they realized the kind of person they were getting involved with. That would be the re. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so this is the re meme. <laughs> goal was to get Ross to freak out, but I doubt they realized the kind of person they were getting involved with. That video's gonna be f***ing flagged no matter f***ing what. F*** you. 
You've probably seen the re meme, but Ross oh, actually did this in real life quite often. <laughs> yeah, it's basically screaming so you... loud you peek your mic, you crack your mic on top of just like screeching. Yeah. So that's, that's I need to send you I need to send you a few Josh Dub videos of Re Kid. It is absolutely <laughs> hilarious, but that's kind of all I got for Re. It's just he does it even to piss his mom off. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And it only served to attract more negative attention his way. Things really started to heat up when Ross began talking about looking up videos of little kids taking baths on a random live stream being watched by about a dozen people. Unfortunately for him, though, one of these observers was none other than Mr. Medicare. If you don't know Medicare, supposed real name Jim, he is an influential commentary creator who originally became popular during the Gamergate oh, era. Oh, Jim's in, in the audience. Throughout the 2010s, he famous bringing me into the old uh, past with with bathtub Ross here, the first person on the internet I've ever hated. <laughs> the only Ross I know is Rubber Ross, but I don't know. I, I hope they're not the same guy, just in different skins. <laughs> oh, well, this, this is a person who has been on record for saying, I have it, I have bloodlust for children and want to do bad things to little little girls. Yeah. And by the way, I work in an elementary school. <laughs> yeah, this was this was probably one of the more dangerous people to 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 his prey that I think that was on the Internet. I think Ross and Nick Ricada would get along so well. Because <laughs> they both love bathtubs. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're, we're we're just skimming the surface. Wait till wait till we really get into it, Kiwi. Right, right, right. covered dysfunctional people he came across online. On this fateful day in mid-2017, after hearing this peculiar bathtub comment, Jim would ask to join for some additional questioning. Okay, so I, I was listening to the live stream, and I was just kind of curious about the bathtub stuff. No, it's Ross, you. you want to you oh, back that story up a little bit to the bathtub? Before I say anything, it's an honor to have you as a guest uh, on here anyways. It's I don't really care. Yeah, it's an honor to have him as well. <laughs> okay, for me. that's great. Can you tell me about the little kids in the bathtub, Ross? That's all I want to just... <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh fuck! I, I I just love. Oh my god! I love the how way like, it's animated. This okay, Ugh. Mr. Medicker is kind of the person you probably of all people on the internet do not want to be in the other side of a discussion on, because it's not going to go well. He'll find he'll find a thread, Kiwi, and he will just pull what? it. In this case, oh. the thread is that this kid was looking up kids in a bathtub. Listen, everyone. Listen, kids. You might be too young to understand what it was, but back then, YouTubers used to do something. <laughs> this is the style that kind of reminds me of that. And I'm just <laughs> now thinking, uh, "Hello, I'm Bathtub Ross, and this is my draw my life. I like kids in bathtubs. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Also, I'm a teacher." <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to play this because, well, okay. First of all, we have a Mr. Medicare stream coming up. On this weekend, um, on top of that, it's just I want to get people acquainted with some good old low cow degeneracy, and this was actually a recent video put out by Gamer from Mars. So, oh, GG left you some fine advice in the chat. <laughs> yes, Damn, it, <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Pat! Damn it! Boss, you wanna you wanna oh, back that story up a little bit to the bathtub? Before I say anything, it's an honor to have you as a guest uh, on here, anyways. <laughs> I don't honor. really care. Yeah, it's an honor to have him as well. Okay, for me. That's great. Can you tell me about the little kids in the bathtub, Ross? That's all I want. Just oh yeah. Curious. Pretty much the reason why I looked it up and I thought they were cute videos. That's really it. See, so you thought the naked kids in the bathtub were cute. It was for... not for like fing uh, jerking off purposes or some shit. Oh, someone call me a whore in the chat? Well, f you. You could go. Oh, yeah, that's kids. gonna happen a lot. Okay, so why were you looking up naked kids in the bathtub in the first place, Ross? Pretty much like, I guess, like, fing I wanna have kids myself. Maybe. I don't uh, know. Pepe, no one wants to <laughs> talk to a dead meme, so go back so to your did, grave. did you think that looking at naked children would help you? <laughs> you help you create them? Like, how does that? What do you? How does wanting to have kids correlate to looking them up naked? Well, I, thought, I thought they were fun videos. That's really it, dude. Like, if you want to go, if you want to know, uh, yeah, I think yeah, the chat's, the chat's, the chat's fascinated with this too, Ross. Like, people, people want to know. It's just that I thought they were cute because you know they were. It was fun to watch the videos. Like, that's really it. As much as Medicare tried, he couldn't get a straight answer out of Ross, who continued to give a never-ending stream of strange excuses, like the videos no, were cute, the, the videos were fun. Get of him looking like Lord Trident out of my head. Okay, continue. <laughs> the, the funny thing too is if you like listen, like Jim starts out like is you know kind of funny, like his typical thing. Oh yeah. You know, like like the like ha ha ha, ha. and then like he will end with him basically yelling at this person, like pushing this dude to like neck himself. Yeah, yeah. Like it is. Intense. On top of that, the woman that keeps interrupting. Oh my God, this that was classic. It would shut the fuck up. Will you shut the fuck up? <laughs> yeah, no, no, she complains the entire time about, like, you know, like, the, uh... About him being in there and everything else, even. 
We get and like the chat just going after her. And then at one point, I think he just like is like, "Shut up, you dumb whore!" And then yeah. he goes back to like yelling at Ross, yeah, trying to get him to like off himself. <laughs> like it is amazing. Oh yes. Why not watch them? Medicare, however, would be unwavering in his attempts to get a plausible explanation, and this would cause a growing sense of hostility coming from Jonathan and his friends. And I don't even know who this f is. Yeah, wait, wait, you asking who the f I am? I'm the guy talking to the pedophile. I, I'm shut the f up and let me do I'm, that. A, I'm on the I'm on the internet. Well, I don't... A thousand K subscribers. I'm Mr. Medicare. I'm a cool guy. Oh, now I'm you're not gonna the roast guy Mr. Medicare. talking about naked kids in a bathtub, Ross. That's well, your dumbass. So why don't you answer the question rather than being a little bitch? Ross, you don't forward. want to go against Mr. Medicare, man. I don't, I don't know, dude. Like you're expecting me to go in depth with this, like. Because the motherfucker wants kids. Jesus Christ. How, what the fuck is that? He wants, he wants kids. Oh, he wants you kids. He looks up naked videos of children. What are you fucking kidding me? No, Ross. How exactly was it fun and cute? Let Brandon talk, you mother. Shut up, not. you stupid fucking hole. Nobody right. wants to listen to you. Somebody muzzle hey, this. Oh my god, you all. Oh, <laughs> oh, well, there it is. That is one of the. <laughs> that is some classic Medicare shit right there. Oh. Jim, fuck. how did you know? <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> But this is one of my favorite things I've ever seen, Jimin. <laughs> yeah, this this argument, mind you, Jim went in here. To, he was trolling from the beginning, and then got on to talk with them, and like so, he was saying shit from the chat even. Like when oh. you listen to the whole stream, and then they brought him on, and he just tore them all apart. <laughs> Kidding me? No, Russ, how exactly was it fun and cute? Let Brandon talk, you mother Shut up, you stupid fucking hole. Nobody right. wants to listen to you. Somebody muzzle hey, this. Oh, oh my god, you all shut this. Oh, oh Brandon, no, get this little mother hole. You don't, you don't, don't know, know her. You don't know, yeah, exactly. you really I don't, don't need know to know her. her. She's annoying and unfunny. Ross, why are you a pedophile? How about you answer that simple question? Dude, that's... What? Edge Wait, Queen, do you do that or not? You, you want Wait, to do I don't that? Hold on a second. Pictures of children. You're trying to twist it like it's not normal. Are you fucking kidding? It me? isn't normal, you fucking degenerate. Edge Queen, do you <laughs> gotta know it's funny. You gotta know it's funny. Right? You, after what you said to me, why should I answer you? Oh, so you're gonna shut up now? Well, thanks for taking the advice. Jesus Christ, you dumb bitch. You're all dumb bitches. Quiet. Ross, why are you looking at pictures of naked kids on the internet? Brandon, I am not dumb. Uh, except, yeah, exactly. Ruby isn't dumb. Um, but yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't think I'm dumb when yeah. Yeah, she knows psychology, that's the thing, really, so... It might seem unusual how someone could be surrounded by multiple people who would defend something so seemingly depraved as looking at videos of naked children, but we'll talk about this more later on in the video. How does wanting kids relate to you going on the internet and looking at naked children? How does how does the how do they connect it exactly? What how does that play into each other? Uh, and you want to know why I said it was fun? Sure. Because they're playing and, shit and they're and they're pretty much chilling, and that's pretty much what it is, really. I mean, do you want me to explain it a little bit more? I mean, oh, okay. That doesn't describe that doesn't describe me fucking having any sexual inter like fucking like actual. What, what fucking... Er, earlier, Ross, when they were saying that you you had said you had feelings for children and you needed help, is that, are they lying? Pretty much what I mean by that simply is that pretty much like I have feelings for kids, meaning the very first explanation, meaning that I wanted to have kids myself. That's why I said that. So why much... would you need to have help for that then? If it's just normal, why would you need help? Uh, pretty much, I I wanted to get help for uh, pretty much people trolling me on the internet. Really, that's really it. Really. This stream would put a spotlight not just on Ross, really, really. but also his quirky online circle of friends that were defending him. Let's take a bit of time to actually go over these kooky individuals. Jetrex is Ross's oldest online friend, and he supposedly introduced the bathtub lover to basically everyone he knows online. He defended <laughs> Ross for a while, but would eventually turn on him a few months after this initial live stream. Jetrex would go on to do some incredibly horrific stuff himself in 2018, but we'll get to that later. It, this is the case of... I thought it was I thought it was bathtub Ross was the one where the guy was trying to take him down and he ends up doing some pretty awful shit. I'm not trying to ruin the story. Pretty awful shit where he ends up going to jail. Like literally, it's bad enough to go to jail. Oh, it's you took the exact words out of my out of my mouth. I was I was gonna say, is this Ember Lily's sister? I'm looking at this picture. I wonder if that's her. But I'm like, like that getting, is her. Like, that is her. Instant. I'm going to be a piece of shit person you ever talk to. Time, so I'm gonna be like, Ugh. I'll be right. Maybe, or maybe it's a prototype. <laughs> like the beta version that had time like... 1.0. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, like no. the beta version, the beta version that they wanted to test before release. Oh god, don't let don't 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 give her a podcast to hang out in. For oh god. fuck. Mr. Medicare so affectionately called her whole had a large presence in this broadcast, <laughs> jumping in to defend Ross every chance she got. The woman would attract quite a bit of attention in the Kiwi Farms thread shortly thereafter, and would eventually make her own account to defend herself, which only served to fuel the fire. 
Zach Lawless is a surprisingly similar figure to Ross in many ways. He was also part of the DSP community, and had a beef with the Sons of Kojima. Zach would come to Ross's defense online many times over the years, and while Jonathan was looking up videos of children bathing, Zach was allegedly filming his three-year-old niece taking baths and sending these videos to his friends. Some people have even theorized that Ross originally got the bathtub idea from Zach himself. After the initial stream, an online figure known as Nuclear Gamer began threatening Medicare, saying that he would hack him and then file a police report. Well, Medicare is going to get some serious legal troubles happening his, his way. And I talked to my friend Bandit, and uh, <laughs> well, he isn't too happy with them lying about people. So it's either you show evidence, <laughs> or you can find out what happens if you keep messing with me and my group. You just oh, don't get to play on the internet anymore, because you will be in prison. Nuclear Gamer would continue well, making- fuck, as long as you talk to Bandit. <laughs> like, fuck. Like, oh, well then it's over, guys. You can talk to Bandit. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Did the medic like... say, come on and say, nah, Bandit, oh, I'm shaking in my boots. <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> much. That's like, like, serious. Like, my dad works at Microsoft. I'll get you banned on Xbox <laughs> yes. energy. Oh, fuck vague threats of dark web hacks and cyber police investigations against all who spoke out against Ross. But he too would change his mind, and eventually join the trolling efforts, making a Kiwi Farms account under the name Psychotic Gamer, and switching his black hat for a white one. While the stream with Medicare brought more attention to Ross, it would only get worse after he uploaded a 35-minute video chronicling both the stream and its aftermath <laughs> on September 4th, 2017. This video would go on to get 500,000 views, and essentially skyrocketed Ross into lolcow status. Ross began not only streaming more himself, but also appearing on other people's broadcasts to debate trolls. Almost every time without fail, these debates would devolve into something like this. Hey, I'd stomp on your f***ing throat, alright, you motherfucker. Oh no, you'll be, sleep you'll be asleep permanently once I meet you in real f***ing life and decapitate your f***ing head and jump on your f***ing Shut up! Shut up! Get him, Ross. <laughs> hey, when I, hey, when I fucking meet your dead relatives in hell, I would legitimately torture them over and fucking over again, and I would fantasize Ross. them Ross. getting fucking tortured, and I will, I will literally rip Ross. their guts out, them? and I will literally go ahead and go and fucking get ready. If I ever met you in real life, you son of a bitch, I will find you, and I will kill you, I will destroy him! <laughs> on one of these trolling expeditions, Ross would threaten to take his own life on air. He would sort of follow through with this threat, with his poison of choice being an entire bottle of Febreze air freshener. <laughs> what do you think, Kiwi? <laughs> what do you think so far? <laughs> Have you seen? Think, too, have you seen many I think people? Kiwi's still AFK. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you imagine being that like fucking like stupid <laughs> that like their like method of suicide is like one of the most inane options? It'd be like you know I'm gonna commit suicide by just drinking a lot of Mountain Dew. <laughs> I'm, gonna, like, I'm gonna drink this heavily scented. Or Water. <laughs> right? It's it's like, congratulations, you've maybe gotten a bit higher now, li literally on King Cobra levels. Yeah. Like, like if fucking Cobra can do air duster, I think you're, you think you're gonna be okay on Febreze, my guy. Like, come on. <laughs> Doesn't kill him, but he's... <laughs> he's right? just fucking perfume for a week. <laughs> right? Like... Like, like he he sweats lavender for about three days. Yes. Like his pores literally leak lavender vanilla. <laughs> kind of like a instead of an alcohol, <laughs> this is gonna be like one of those wallflowers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like Over... an alcoholic, like, you get near them, <laughs> you could smell it on them. Like, no, he's just he gonna just... be like a, <laughs> a walking room scent. <laughs> he opens his mouth and you can just you can just smell the like pineapple breeze just coming off of him like feeling like you're in a tropical island <laughs> oh my god i just <laughs> i god. will kill myself with breeze like can you imagine being just that level of like hardcore and competent like <laughs> you're not really committed to this are you <laughs> like it's like one of those things it's like i go back to like you know that he wants to like hurt little girls but then i see that he tries to kill himself with febreze and i'm just wondering if he's even competent enough to hurt a little girl <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean like, like like he would like go up to her and just be nervous like yeah. ah, ha, 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 hi and just run off like, like... doing the re-run off <laughs> 
<laughs> then he gets in the closet and like I couldn't confess my feelings. Re, and it's like you know a, a three year old playing with a block. Like <laughs> fucking Belinda got me in chat. Drinks water, dies by drowning. Pikachu face. <laughs> Right? It's like the people that want to wow. die of like hydrolysis. Like, <laughs> like I just drank like nine gallons of water, and I literally over, I literally like drank myself from having too much water. Like, come on, Febreze. I would have said, prove it, do it. <laughs> Can you imagine the defeat in his voice when he comes on stream the next day? <laughs> right. Hi guys. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I'm, it didn't work. I just it got a really work. bad stomach ache now. Every time I fart, it smells like flowers. <laughs> right. Right. I just been in the bathroom. <laughs> I, I just, I, I can't, can't do it anymore. <laughs> my stomach hurts. My throat burns a little. <laughs> and I have the idea of wanting to see images of children in bathtubs <laughs> i can't do this anymore but i'm out of febreze <laughs> i should have got an extra can could you imagine that <laughs> oh god if he was if he went the can route instead of the fucking spray bottle oh my god and since he just has his mouth open and you're mm. <laughs> See, that's, that's the way I always imagined that he just had like the spray and he just kept trying to like use as an inhalant. That's how I've always imagined it. No, no, you're fine. Whoever did the yard for Ross really needs to get better. <laughs> Seriously, that does not match the fucking voice of Ross. No, like I mean, especially when he's doing this shit. Like he should look like an amalgamation of like whatever form Akira was turning into. <laughs> All right, Kiwi. I need I'll to know. I need to. Then. I need to know your input on this oh, on this method of suicide. <laughs> on one of these trolling expeditions, Ross would threaten to take his own life on air. He would sort of follow through with this threat, with his poison of choice being an entire bottle of Febreze air freshener. What's your thoughts on that, Kiwi? Such a lovely scent of... <laughs> it smells like lavender and... <laughs> pennies? <laughs> oh dear god, he's dead. Oh, well. I never said this was intended to be a suicide stream anyways. This was actually f***ing uh, me just drinking Febreze. <laughs> At least I was able to drink f At least I was able to drink Febreze, alright? Unlike you f***ing faggots. After drinking the scented oh. product, Ross went to the hospital. No. 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 He didn't even mention what sent it was. A kiwi man up, oh. kiwi. <laughs> uh. You're I mean, you were looking at. He should have done Clorox. It would be lemony fresh. Yeah, <laughs> at least Mr. go pine clean. Salt. <laughs> Mr. Clean, clean himself from the inside out. Oh shit! <laughs> it clearly didn't work. Oh man. I just like too that he went Febreze when, like, I guarantee you that he would have had at least three over-the-counter medications within his house, like aspirin, that would have been more effective. <laughs> yeah. But he, he decided to choose air freshener for some reason. <laughs> like, like that's how incompetent this guy was. Is like, he chose air freshener over, like, a legitimate <laughs> medication that would have worked. Like, this is the level of, like, he could have went to bed low IQ. <laughs> hey, look at the bright side. At least, depending well, on what the recent was, at least he had his fruit. <laughs> like, all he would need was about, like, 20, a not aspirin, but 20, like, um, no, I guess it would be aspirin. 20 aspirin and a, a nice little pin knife to prick his finger and he'd be done. Wait, and if he wanted to, he could just take them with the febreze <laughs> like you just drink the like you know what i mean like some because sometimes if, people if do, you're if you're really committed to the febreze method at least <laughs> right like, like you know like if you if you can't swallow the pill like dry then you drink the febreze then if you if that if that's the route you really really are committed to but though let's though i hope uh, though i assume we can all agree at least it's not a tight pot yeah well this is <laughs> unfortunately right. not a little work. 
<laughs> the Tide Pod would have worked. <laughs> this was pre Tide. This was pre Tide Pod, though. Like this, you can see, like he's like the progenitor of that. Like... This is why kids eat Tide Pods. A... I have a cherry scented bottle of fragrance behind me. I wonder if drinking that will give me superpowers. I look. Well, it'll if give I... you the shits. I wait, wait, one second. Me. If I were choosing my method, I would go out through the Benadryl method, okay? you If you take enough, it's already euphoric freaking high, and the odds are is you're just gonna pass away in your sleep. I got it. <laughs> oh, All man. right. Are you trying I wonder this? how... <laughs> Baby. Baby. Baby, no. No. Don't worry, you're not gonna... Don't worry, you won't miss anything. I just oh, no. Stop. <laughs> Don't do it. We like you. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck! I put a little on my finger and licked it. <laughs> You're an idiot, Kiwi. I'm glad you just catch your catch up. I'm glad you're catching up. Just because it smells like cherry doesn't mean it'll taste like cherry. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Moment of silence. Moment of silence. This room stank. Moving on. <laughs> I appreciate your dedication to the bit, though. I was going to say, <laughs> only, only on Strictly Patrick's stream do you get the dedication to the science. <laughs> Why was it right? spicy, though? <laughs> <laughs> also, that's not cherry. Why is it so spicy? <laughs> it, now, now we have, like, another segment. We have website review, and now we have, like, what's my chemical taste? Someone clip that, please. Go ahead and clip it. I don't care. Just clip it. I need to send it to everyone who will bully me. <laughs> I did it once. I'll do it again. <laughs> and supposedly the doctors didn't find any evidence that he had ingested a chemical. So he went back home. Shortly after, the air freshener ingester hopped back on stream and finally admitted to being a pedo. But not just that, the young man would go on to say that he had a bloodlust. Not only for people he's threatened to kill, but specifically children. I do need to seek help. Not just for borderline pedophilia, but also for bloodlust as well. No, I'm literally borderline. telling you the truth right now, is that I do have bloodlust for those I, I threatened to kill online. I mean, sometimes I did have, like, lust for killing people. Oh no, if I completely lost my fucking mind, I would literally fucking kick a child and then fucking... Oh, well, I mean, I, did, I, I, was literally, I was literally fucking pissed off that people were bullying mm -hmm. me at high school, so they What was that? Okay. Before I wanted to fucking shoot up the school. Obviously, the detractors following Ross became concerned oh. after hearing these comments from him. And Neil Venegas, proud creator of the Ross thread on Kiwi Farms, doxed Ross and called a wellness check on him, along with tipping off the FBI. Medicare uploaded his second video on Ross around this time, <laughs> updating his audience on everything that had happened after his first video. After this official wellness check, Ross's grandparents supposedly banned him from using the internet for two months. But shortly after this, he was caught using his PlayStation to talk to Nuclear Gamer, and Ross's grandparents made the decision to send him to a group home. At this point, I think we have to talk about the elephant in the room. Ross has a developmental disability. He's claimed in his streams to have everything from schizophrenia to autism. Many have agreed that he exhibits many of the symptoms associated with these conditions, including his odd manner of speaking where he repeats pretty much over and over again, his intense over-the-top reactions to minor issues, and most importantly, his extreme lack of social judgment. I'm not telling you this to try to defend him, but it is important context to the story, and also likely explains how Ross's grandparents were able to send him to a facility so easily despite him being an adult. Because of his new living situation, Ross would stay off the internet for about two months while he was in a group home, but on November 18th, 2017, the the lol cow would return to YouTube. He uploaded a video that was seemingly recorded on a display computer in a Microsoft store, which likely meant that he was still in the home and wasn't allowed to use the internet. This video has unfortunately been lost to time, but gathering from the discussion about it on Kiwi Farms, Ross mostly just rants about how he was set up in the last stream, and that he only admitted to being a pedo to get people to leave him alone, though I don't quite understand the logic on that one. Can you After imagine this, things would remain recording in a Microsoft <laughs> store and be like, I'm not a pedophile as people are trying to shop Microsoft products? Like you're over looking at the new version of Windows and you have this deranged man screaming into his screaming into like one of the public use computers that he's not a pedophile. But Mr. Medica, like, I'm not a pedophile. I'm not. I just said it. I, I hate you, Jim. I'm going to kill you as well. Die, when I'm not a pedophile. <laughs> right? Like what the f oh, it's and, and can you imagine being that incompetent too that like the doctors like can't even 
find traces of Febreze in your system after you downed a bottle of it. Oh. Like, you were just that useless as a person. <laughs> <laughs> quiet for another few months, until Ross finally got full internet access back in early 2018, and Medicare would upload his third video. This upload would contain some disturbing new information from secretly recorded Discord conversations with Ross, including the fact that he had SA fantasies. Well, I mean, like, a girl game. about having rape fantasies about, like, I, it's my ex-girlfriend, and it's, like, f***ing, like, how, like, holy water or something like that, or, like, sunlight or something like that. Like, whenever you just look at her, you just feel like you want to rape her, and that's your weakness. What? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> See, it, it, it's it's like everybody's like like oh he has autism he has schizophrenia and it's like okay but like he also wants to like rape people and he like wants to like violate children like at what point is it like you know the autism isn't good enough as an yeah, excuse this is a, like, like, a minor issue <laughs> like it's one thing if like you're schizophrenic and you think you hear something in the walls or something it's another thing to like be like I work in an elementary school and I want to fuck kids like there's there has to be some line between like wall spiders and pedophilia. <laughs> like you know what I like. Oh, I well, yeah. There's there's ceiling cats. <laughs> uh, those are alcohol induced though. <laughs> and coke induced. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Is someone recording this? Oh my god, why would you say that? <laughs> so what if I told you that this potential child abuser who fantasizes about assault and committing mass shootings was working at a school? I heard I heard you're a teacher's assistant now, Ross. Is it true? Uh, yeah, I'm like, you know, why? How, how old are the children that you're assisting? They're like in elementary school, why? Oh, okay. Once again, Ross's followers became concerned. There was a large effort to find the school Ross was working for and to let them know that they were putting kids at risk. But even though we had Ross's location, no school in his vicinity knew who Ross was. Pretty odd. After Medicare completed his trilogy, Ross's now ex-friend Jet Rex would leak a chat in which Ross asks if he can live with him. To which Jet says no because he was concerned about his sister's safety. Ross would respond to this by saying, Would you rather have someone murder her or have someone molest and still care for her? This was not a particularly persuasive argument, yeah. and something that should have probably been shown to law enforcement. But for some reason, Jet didn't seem to be concerned about these comments made about his sibling. That might seem strange, but it would all be explained a few months later. On May 18th, 2018, Jet Rex, real identity Logan Westfall, would be arrested for not only molesting, but also sodomizing his sister. He's in prison right now, and he thankfully won't be eligible for parole until 2037. Around this time, Ross told the world that he quit his job working for the unnamed school, and was now identifying as a MAP, which is an abbreviation for Minor Attracted Person. The MAP community is extremely controversial for obvious reasons. Their goal is to try to convince the world that they have a natural form of sexuality, and that it should only be criminalized if a person actually hurts a child. I probably don't have to convince you that there's a lot wrong with these people and the message they're trying to spread, but Ross apparently found their point compelling and was trying to leave <laughs> violence and negativity behind him, just not the pedo part. And with that, the saga started to slow down a bit. But then, over a year later, everything would start to get even weirder. Ross began appearing more and more unhinged in his live streams, like how he was apparently working for another school now, and that he was also into necrophilia. He would also even make his own Kiwi Farms competitor site that was called Cherry F No, he didn't. I didn't Wait, know what? about this. He made a com <laughs> He made a com <laughs> Oh, speaking of cherries, my finger still smells like scented cherries. <laughs> wow. You won't leave my finger now. Okay, this is new to me. I had no idea about this. Holy shit. Frams. What a lot of people didn't know uh, was I that at the time... I didn't have an idea of it either. <laughs> See, the last thing like I heard about him was what? that he made, like, a comeback post where he was, like, getting the help he needed, and he looked like he was losing some weight. But, like, before that, it was like he was having a spurg out in, like, a motel room. Yeah. That he got, like, evicted from. Yeah, I remember the spurg out, but that's about it. That was the last I had heard of shit. So I didn't even hear about him, like, getting better. <laughs> called Cherry Frams. What a lot of people didn't know was that at the time, Ross was not at his grandparents' place or the group home anymore, but was instead bouncing from different hotels. Why wasn't he just staying at one hotel? Well, because he kept Wait, getting kicked out during the, the hotel saga? <laughs> Please tell me it was a different Nobody... hotel with the, with the furry, not the pizza. It was a Motel Please. 6. Oh my god. Uh, sure, one that's what they want. 
that's why nobody knew about it because no one ever visited it. <laughs> like, like, like that was like it was like like nobody didn't even care enough to visit it, so nobody knew it existed. His view counter just keeps going up from him returning to the site from different hotels. Right? It's just him refreshing on different IP <laughs> yeah. addresses from a different motel. <laughs> oh, it's gaining traction. <laughs> Oh my god. Why wasn't he just staying at one hotel? Well, because he kept getting kicked out for screaming. I will kill you all! I will kill you all! Can you imagine his mic? Can you imagine having like a romantic what? weekend with your wife and then like that's in the next room over? <laughs> like you just hear it through the walls, like I will kill you, and just like screaming. And you're like, you know what? This is a mood killer. Like I, I we can't, I, we can't. Do this. Oh God! Imagine being the you know, guy's here, next door roommate and we're, just being we're like. Gonna leave. Uh, we're gonna go Taco to Bell? La Quinta. <laughs> Did you have too much Taco Bell? Is is that what's going? On? I don't know. I think I'd be on like an episode of Punk, and they were like faking a like horror movie film or something. <laughs> oh my god! And the guy was just really into his bit. Fortnite. <laughs> How are you doing that, dude? You're really gonna be out Ross would stay at a couple different places until finally one day, instead of just knocking on his door, the hotel staff actually called the police. And when the cops got there, Ross would tell them that he was viewing CP. Unfortunately, this clip is pretty bad quality and hard to get out. But we are... yeah, he spills his guts to the cops. Oh, where, my he's, God. where he's talking about the internet bullshit. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it's like he starts all the way back with the Medicare shit when he first gets involved. <laughs> like you I can hear it being picked up. Like you can hear it in the fucking Discord call and everything. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we're able to restore some of Ross's conversation with the officers. I was pretty much uh, talking about uh, how I watched uh, nudist, uh, uh, nudist uh, pictures and the nudist pictures contained uh, children. Uh, distributed or anything like that, but my grandmother said to never do that again. So, like, uh, other than that, I don't have any. But the thing is, that way they do it. It's like I looked at the thing early in the, the um, children, the you just in the children in the bathtub as well. Understandably, the police arrested <laughs> Ross and took his computer. But in an interesting twist, they never found any evidence of CP on his hard drive or his browser history. So instead of keeping him in jail, they stuck him in a psychiatric facility. He would remain there until he was released two years later in mid-2021, and since then hasn't returned to social media publicly. With the chronological events of Bathtub Ross out of the way, I think now's a good uh, time that's to kind of bullshit, actually. Because I remember seeing a post where they were talking, uh, where Ross had taken a selfie of him getting better. Oh, like he was saying how he had a girlfriend and everything. I can't remember where I found it, but I remember it being about Ross. So hmm. I don't think Gamer from Mars got this right. So it could have been on like Cow or something or one of the others. And yeah, it might have been like one of the farmers that made a video that I saw. Okay. Was that before though? He came back from the like two year break though, or was that like? Recently. No, it was after. It was like I, if I remember correctly, I found it in 2022. So this whole thing okay. that, like, it, he hasn't been heard from since in 2021. It's like I, I've got conf I've got a conflicting so, memory on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Second, to figure out what exactly happened in the story, because there are definitely some conclusions to be drawn here with hindsight now being 2020. For one, if Ross told the police that he had been watching CP, but law enforcement didn't find any evidence of this and didn't charge him for it, then the logical conclusion is that he was making it up. And if he was willing to lie about that, we can apply this logic to other events to see what other claims were merely just made for attention. Well, for one thing, the idea of Ross working at a school now seems to obviously be a lie. The man was sent to a group home that likely helped adults with developmental disabilities receive professional care around the clock. There are facilities out there that have programs that help their residents find work, but these jobs usually consist of simple tasks like folding laundry or basic data entry, away from the general public. Ross claimed to be a teaching assistant, which often requires a formal education. It's no surprise that Kiwi Farms was unable to find out where Ross was working, because he almost certainly made it up. Let's look at it like this. 
It's no secret that Ross likes lolcows. He was involved in the DSP community and made some pretty obvious references to Chris Chan in the past, like when he called himself a virgin with rage. He even made his own <laughs> Kiwi Farms competitor site. Now, the defining feature of a lot of lolcows is the ability to thrive off of negative attention. Most people who are being cyberbullied in an anonymous space are usually able to just delete their accounts and leave, but lolcows seemingly always come back for more, trying to twist this negative attention into a positive. But Ross never seemed to care about that. In fact, it appears he made up horrible things about himself to stoke the flames. Did Ross ever look up pictures of children in bathtubs? It's hard to say with confidence. We do know that he was surrounded by pedos in his friend group, with one even accused of distributing pictures of his young niece bathing around this time. But regardless of whether or not Ross looked up this stuff himself, the allegations alone got him a lot of notoriety. Because for some reason, in our society, if someone makes those sort of claims, we kind of just believe them. And what he said was so outrageous, even a famous YouTuber was willing to make a video about him. When this attention started to die down, Ross pretended to drink a bottle of Febreze and then talked about how he had fantasized about hurting children and committing mass crimes. And then suddenly, he got more attention in another video made about him by the same famous YouTuber. Ross was then sent to a group- Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is he actually going to suggest that Ross was just a fake the whole entire time? Yeah, that's what he's actually suggesting here. I'm kind of surprised by this. See, okay, here's, now here's, I now I was bullshitting with the whole horror movie, bull, you know, punk thing where it's like the dude's really committed to the bit. I don't know how you could scream so fucking like crazy like that where it's popping the fucking mic yeah. and actually do it, you know, like, you know, 100% seriously. Yeah. <clears throat> it's like that is like a natural fucking tard rage well and the fact yeah. is is that he's like going after he's kind of pseudo going after fucking mr medicare here and saying like well it was enough that uh, a well-known youtuber went after him okay first of all first of all first of all he's mr. not a well-known youtuber <laughs> no <laughs> no and he's actually like youtube's not his jam He's done bit shoot and D live and stuff for longer, hasn't he? Yeah, ever since YouTube demonetized him. Yeah. So like, like if you look at his if you look at Medicare's channel right now, he basically has like fucking MS paint art, like doing quote unquote family friendly uh content just to mock YouTube. Yeah. Well, yeah, and he only does he deletes his live streams when they're done. Yeah. Yep. Like but like I here here's the thing that I have issue with, right? I don't think that maybe Ross did do these things, but I don't think it's for attention. I think like it was legitimately schizophrenic delusions. It could yeah, be. Yeah, like it could be. I mean, <laughs> schizophrenic delusions. I mean, you had the guy who had like just look at it from this uh perspective. All of his friends had like some kind of fucked up thing. With schizophrenia, you kind of take some of those things and just put it into your worldview and act as if it's happening right before your eyes. So yeah, the dude believe. recording kids in the bathtub, he's like, oh, I watched it because I want to be a father, you know, shit like that. He could have been pulling that schizophrenic idea, like, from just that dude being in his friend group. How I can believe his friend sending that and sort of, like, almost, like, quote-unquote, like, grooming Ross into thinking that, like, you know, this is how, like, look, you could have this one day, like, look at this, like, and then he, he just being so schizophrenic. Like, you know, imagine that, like, as he's playing with toys or something, that he's a teacher's assistant. Yeah, and that shit with, like, Jet Rex, like, I mean, I don't even know where he would pull something from him. That's the one thing I can't think of. Well, I mean, like, but... you, you've seen, like, what he was accused of, like, including, like, violent sodomization of his sister. That could be hurting little girls. That could have been the bloodlust. Yeah. The rape, blood, blood, yeah. Again, it's just like if he is schizophrenic, he's probably pulling from that. Exactly. It seems like possibly, like, like, like in all seriousness, his friends were talking about this shit, and then he was just schizophrenically delusion that he was a part well, of it. Yeah. Like, well, it, I mean, sometimes schizophrenia like can be like an inner sign of your conscience. Like I've read something about this where. Like, if, you know, that inner voice in your head is telling you that something's wrong or off is tied to schizophrenia in some cases. Kind of a window to, into the soul type thing. Yeah, but he's also autistic on top of that, so he's projecting all the bad shit that his friends are doing, but he's inserting himself as the, like, evildoer and making, you know... Long story short, this shit's nasty. Here, let me clean it up for you a bit. 
<laughs> I, I mean, b- basically, he's it. I don't know. This is too much for me to explain tonight. But I'm just trying to say is that maybe his like inner conscience was like using himself as like a fucking window for everyone else to view his friend group through. Yeah. Yeah. Or he felt he guilty that he fragrance. engaged with it. That he like <laughs> literally like talked to his friend about like, oh yeah, no, I violated my sister. Oh yeah, no, I would take pictures of my niece in the tub. You know, yeah, what I mean? I maybe mean, he like yeah. you know took that in and then like i was a part of this i'm a bad guy too and then let it yeah let it out onto the internet as like a form of like almost like sadistic self-punishment yeah the only thing i could think of for the febreze thing is ruby the hole um because during that time like ruby was also like uh i think she told ross that uh medicar like was that medicar was so mean to her that she was going to off herself and then yeah i remember it was that. like yeah, and she was like, do you not care? It's like, she was about to kill herself. Because I remember him saying that shit. And then he's doing the fucking Febreze shit. Yeah, so maybe he's just, like you guys are implying, like, just he's a sponge for his friend group. Like, he just yeah. absorbed everything in and around him. You guys want yeah, some fragrance? He's like a retarded <laughs> sponge. Right. <laughs> well, and, and, and that makes the Febreze thing make more sense because like, yeah. when you think about Febreze it is the most chemically like artificial thing imaginable so you would think oh this is completely fake this is completely like not real there's a bevy of different chemicals this should in theory kill me yeah folk. I mean there's also like another disorder where it's like um, I, I forget what the actual term is for it but it's a uh, mimicry or something to do with mimicry i think that's also okay. playing a part in this like he could have that okay yeah i know what you're on talking top about. of the schizophrenia. i can't think of it either but yeah i know exactly what you're talking about Where yeah you, i think that might and mimic yeah yeah so like and given how fast like everything was happening when the shit was like popping up like boom 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 like it was like every other week Oh, echo well, or not every other that. week, but like every other like five days, something new would happen with Ross. Yeah, no, that would make sense because I, I just looked it up. Echopraxy is an involuntary imitation or repetition of someone else's actions. Yeah, that's what it was. E- uh, echo proxy. Uh, okay. Yeah, echo proxy. With the schizophrenia, that could make it to where it's like him doing it. Hmm. The autism not understanding the social cues of like how wrong it is. Yeah. Yeah. I just discovered another mental disorder. It's called Kiwi Studios. <laughs> it's when yeah, you well, lick a fragrance just to make a joke. Yeah, well, Kiwi, there, you know that mental disorder comes with a mute button too. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, man. I just all right. I'm gonna finish this out and then right at the end, I'm gonna pause it because I've got okay. information for the next videos able to post online for a while, which drastically reduced the amount of attention he was getting. So what does he do when he gets out? He tells people online that he's a pedo again, but now with a twist that he's working with children. Once again, he got more attention in another video on his misdeeds. Do you see the cycle here? After his trilogy, Medicare was pretty much done with the subject. But Ross still desperately tried to cling to whatever negative cloud he had, by saying he was working at a different school now, and all of a sudden was into necrophilia. As this cycle went on, Ross's mental state kept on getting worse and worse until he told police point blank that he possessed CP, which is something that would have sent him to prison if it were true. It's obviously never been confirmed if Ross did or did not make everything up. He himself has been off the internet since that night the police knocked on his door five years ago. There was never going to be a happy ending to this tale, but the fact that Ross is now staying offline out of his own volition is a very slim silver lining to a dumpster fire of a story. Okay. All right. This is the sibling Lord Trine doesn't talk about. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just going to like slide in here quickly with this. Yes, yeah. it, makes, it makes sense that if he was in that facility for two years and did not have access to all of this internet shit, that he became a lot better then. Yeah, probably. Because he, was he wasn't people... surrounded by it. Yeah. yeah. Because they're, you know, echo proxia. Yeah. Would also, you know be the end result of that because he'd be pretty much in a padded cell where he wouldn't in- be integrated with people who are like you know free flowing crazy but are like drugged up because they are crazy <laughs> it's as if you're implying that this guy went to a therapist finally and said i possess cp 
Oh, uh, well, I, I just, I think that you guys offered a better introspective into Jonathan than Gamer from Mars did, but I did like this video for at least the historical content context. I mean, Gamer from Mars's version of this, it's just a prank, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, if that's what I he's did. really building this all up to, it's a pretty shitty video. Yeah. I, I... I think the timeline part is good. It's just up to the opinion of, like, did it happen? Well, it's like, I don't think we should really debate that because if it did happen, that's deplorable. Yeah. Like, we yeah. shouldn't be, like, you know, moralizing, well, this probably couldn't have happened. Your, what if your it did? Hopes, your hopes are that it did not happen. Yeah, it's like the Ricada shit and all yeah. that other shit with, like, Rich. It's like, I'm hoping <laughs> it didn't happen, like, because that means there's <laughs> real victims here. Like... <laughs> Someone oh, in man. chat asked a really good question. What's that? <laughs> Quote, the fuck did I just walk into? <laughs> <laughs>